Hello, Shane from DIY Retro Arcade. Today I wanted to show you the Pandora's Box wireless console uh, that will hook into your TV. These are powered by a uh, Pandora's Box 90 with 2500 games. And the one thing to note, it shows the specs here on the back, is that these are now have 2 gigs of RAM that is important the older models only have one so these actually perform for gameplay pretty much a whole lot better than what they used to they've gotten better every generation whenever the 9d first came out there was a lot of dispute on whether or not it was a actual 3a product as far as it being a clone not being a clone uh, th these are manufactured under 3H, which is actually the same company as 3A. 3H was developed by 3A to offer a lower dollar item to basically compete with the clones. So it's the same company that, that makes the 3A. Uh, we buy directly from 3A. The Pandora's the the Pandora 9D, the Pandora 6, all come in the same containers, the same markings from the same manufacturer for us. So I can absolutely guarantee you that 3A and 3H are the same company. Let's open this thing up and see what's actually on the inside. The, the kit's come in a really nice box. It's very padded. That's the one thing I did notice. Um, the manual is pretty much useless. It's it'll it'll tell you how to go through the settings and stuff, but it's more for hooking it up like it was the family version. You really don't need this being it's obviously all hooked up, and all you'll need to do is plug it into TV. It does have uh, some you know instructions that tell you how to get into the I/O test and stuff like that. But let me show you what actually comes in the kit. You'll have the main control box right here. And if you'll notice on the back that you have your on off switch, your 12 volt DC in, you have an HDMI, a VGA, audio, and there's your volume control, you're up and down. And this is what gets you into the menu. And this is your, uh, your U disk where the games are actually loaded. And then you also get an extra set of USB ports. I haven't tested this yet, but this should work with actually four controllers total. Uh, it comes with two wireless, but like I said, it's supposed to work with up to four. I haven't tested it yet. I'll get there one day. It's just been so busy lately. But here's the actual unit itself. And it also comes with your HDMI cable. That's a that's actually a pretty good looking cable. Most of the time the cables that come with these are pretty high quality. We've never had any issues with them whatsoever. And then all of ours will come with a standard uh, US power supply, which is basically that little thing right there. The controllers are like a PlayStation knockoff. They don't have the weight like the original PlayStation controller. Uh, they still feel pretty good. The one thing to note that these do take a AAA battery and they do not come with batteries. That's the one thing missing from these kits are the AAA batteries. So you will need four of those. You'll have to get them somewhere. But again, this is a, you know, your typical PlayStation controller or clone. Uh, you got your directional pads, your joysticks. You got a select, a mode, and a start, and four buttons here. And of course, your your four buttons on the back side. Let me actually plug this into a TV and let me show you the the gameplay. Uh, we'll test a few games to show how smooth it plays. Give me one sec. We'll be right back. All right, I got.
got this hooked into the TV. Let me uh, get this powered on. One thing while this thing is booting up, let me show you on the back of the joystick itself, the controller I should say, there's a on off switch. So make sure you turn that on and off or your batteries will be dead when you try to play. And when you do power it on, you do have a uh, LED button showing that there's power. It's standard Pandora's box menus. Uh, kind of cycle through some of the games here. The one thing about Pandora's box is there is lots of duplicates. I usually go through and, and go into the menu. They now have it so you can set all the games to off. And then go in there and kind of handpick which games that I want on the system. Uh, there's lots of filler games, lots of duplicates, but overall it's a it's a pretty good pretty good setup. Let's play. Right, let's do Mortal Kombat. The load times are pretty fast. It's it, it's not too horribly bad, and the gameplay seems to be pretty smooth. I know this is the one that usually everyone tests on, so let's start here. Raiden. I'm actually going to go ahead and once this game starts, I'm going to mute it. I'm going to mute that. As you can see, I suck at this game, but that's okay. But overall, the, the, the gameplay itself is pretty smooth. Uh, controllers are pretty, pretty responsive. Not too bad. I'm not really noticing any lag. get out of the game all you do is hit the select button and it'll pull you up to continue or exit you can pause the game whatever you want to do let's go back to the main menu here there is a set of 3d games uh, that are on here and notice that the menu system now shows like 3p and 4 play this is at the bottom of uh, the game list uh, again you should be able to hook more joysticks into this or more controllers I should say into this to be able to get three players and four players uh, there is two open ports on the back of the uh, of the unit um, let me look here Turn the volume back on for you. Round one, fire. You get the idea there. But the gameplay again is pretty smooth for being a 3D game. Not too bad. Like I said, these Pandoras have come a long way since they started. 
the extra memory definitely helps. You can you can see that in gameplay, but that's not too bad. You can also go into the menus. Let me show you that. Just simply hit the menu button on the back of the console itself, the little black button. And it's got all the system con configurations and all that good stuff. And that ultra annoying music. If you ever do get a Pandora's box that doesn't seem to be acting right, use the factory reset. That works 99% of the time. Uh, most of this stuff you're not going to need, need anyway. But uh, right here is where you would go in if you do set up extra joysticks. I believe you configure them all right here. Again, I haven't done it personally. But I believe this is where you set it all up. I need to get a little more uh, set down time with this thing. There you go.